All right, we're ready to begin the build. And see, we'll put the box aside so we can get access to all the sheets. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Cubic Fun Hole Puncher tool. It comes out just like that. And we'll put that to the side. And we're going to start with part A. You can see we're going to start to put the, uh, the keel down, and that's part 55, 40, and 276. Sorry, 40. And there's part 40. Let's go ahead and punch this section out. And just like the Flying Dutchman, the pieces come out really easily. And just like that, it's out. And the two pieces in the middle, we need a 76. So it's not going in this one. Let's see, the other one we need is part 55. And this is part 55. And part 76, the connectors are right there. <clears throat> All right, let's lay down a keel for the Titanic. We've got this section. And you've got this section, it's going to go just like that. So let's put 76 in. And we're going to put part 40 into part 76 on the top and on the bottom. <clears throat> You can see how, how it goes together. Starting to look solid. All right, we're already on to step B. <clears throat> and those are gonna be held in place with parts one, looks like 113. You can see there are some areas that have um, areas that need to be removed. So what we're actually going to do is it's a good idea to remove everything that needs to be punched out now, as opposed to needing it done and not being able to get to it later. So I think this is the only one that needs to come out. There. And when there's little pieces like that, I wanna just tear it, because um, it's not coming. It's supposed to be cut, but this one for some reason isn't cut. So just gently pull it off, and it should be all set. Nice. <clears throat> so we're going to put parts 113 and that's going to be 
so you can see that this is more than likely going to be the, the bow. And by the way, this is 1300 scale because when I unboxed it, it didn't say, but I found on the website that this is 10305 scale. It's a weird scale, it's like 1305. So I had said 1350 of 400, but it's actually 1305 scale. So you can see. It's, uh, it's a good size. Let me bring it out. There. <clears throat> so you can see the whole thing. Okay. So what's next? We've got part 62 and 63. And, yep. It's on the same sheet. So we've got 71 and 72. So it looks like 71, 72. This is gonna go as like a like a brace. It's gonna go into part 61 and 63, uh, 62 and 63. Just like that. I tell you, don't let the fact that this is cardboard, um, I mean, strengthen cardboard, but don't let it fool you. This is, this is pretty sturdy. Yeah. And this is gonna go, uh, let's see, right up into here. Just like that. So that's going to help stand up the, uh, the keel. Okay, it looks like now we're going to start putting bulkheads in. Let's go ahead and we're going to take all these bulkheads out. And like I told you before, they have um, they all have little holes that need to be punched out. And that's going to be key because when we pass the lighting system through, they're all going to go through the bulkheads through the little openings. So you want to be able to punch them out now. You don't want to wait until it's the frame is all set and then go back and punch them. You might as well do it right away. At least that's what I like to do. There. And that's all of them. All right, let's start with Oh, we'll start with, we got 48 first. So part 48 is gonna go with the bow. And it's gonna go right here. It's gonna go all the way down. Just like that. All right, the next one is 47. Fifty-one is next. And here is fifty-one. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I was supposed to take the. Uh... All right, there are no. There's nothing to punch out on the first two. But when we get to fifty-one, you can see the little area.
54, 46 is next. Forty-nine, fifty, fifty-three, fifty-two, 50, 53, 52. And here's number 46. A couple more pieces that need to be punched out. Okay, 46 is in. Now we need 50. Here's 50, and we've got four little squares that need to come out. So number 50 can go in. Fifty is in, we need fifty-three, and we have four more. And 45 is next. And we've got more of the little, little squares that need to be punched out for the lights. And it's 40. So it looks like that's it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like it's it for section C. Oh, actually, section C continues. So we will need 52, 66, 65, 69, 77, only oh, yeah. seven, seven. Punch them out. Six would be right here. Okay, you can see where we're gonna probably pass wires through. Okay, so we got the little hole, and that needs to go on this side of the ship or the starboard side. Seventy is next, and we've got the little folds. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold that, and there's no holes that need to be punched out on this one. Because we're going into the bow now. So sixty-five is that this one? Yep. So we're going to. Pull this one as well. And we got seventy seven. 
again want to fold it prior to putting it in. Alright, so let me show you the section. What's next? It looks like we start to put uh, the decks on. So we've got 111 and 37. And here's section 111. So let's get this. You can see here's 37. I'm going to gently take this out. Thirty-seven is going to go to the bow, so let's put this aside, and you can see there's quite a lot of holes we need to punch out for this. Let's put this section onto the ship right now. So this is going to go just like that. you to look and see how they get pushed into place where they get locked into position and you go right through the deck All right, let's punch out the holes Okay, so, I don't know if you guys can see, we've got the deck on top, the deck section, and we're ready to move on to step E. And you can see, we're going to start doing the, um, the wiring. So you can see, it looks like it's going to go into that little, towards the stern, that little uh, kind of compartment that we had made. We've got, they should be labeled. I mean, we've got SP, 
we've got what's this one we've got L15 so we got L15 two L15s and the SP so we're gonna have L15 the yellow and the green and the SP that's going to run up through the top deck. Yeah. And this is going to rest in the hull of the ship just like that. You guys can see that. Okay, so what do we want first? I think we uh, will do the SP, which is the pink, designated pink. So. We have the SP right here. Let's see if I can move this over here a few guys. All right, so we've got the SP, and the SP is going to go through the upper deck, and it's come out. It's going to come out through here. So we need to. You know what? Maybe if I put them on, it'd be easier for you guys to follow along. So let's. Put them on. All right, so let's try to detangle. So this is going to go up through here and be passed up through this hole. And this is the SP. All right, so let's just run that out to the side for now. Okay, so we're gonna take an L15. Let's see if I can just separate the L15. And once again, these are gonna go up through the opening just like that all right we got L the other L15 so we've got this designation as L15 as well and if you guys can see that L15 and this is also going to go up through the uh, top of the deck Okay, so we got three lights, three sets of lights going through for the top of the deck, and that's what they want. So we're gonna put that aside for now. And we've got the remaining four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna put those through the bottom. And you guys can see the bottom right there, the opening. So let's try to If they're all the same length, they try to do them together. All right, let's see if we can pass them all three together. So they're going to be going in through that way. So let's just leave it at that. We're going to pass them through this hole right here. Okay, so and see how they got it set up. On the instructions, we have L15, two L15s running through the top deck with SP, and we have the rest that aren't labeled that are going through that bulkhead right there. And let me get this, show the camera, you can see, going up through the top deck and going through the bulkhead. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put it off. And it looks like there's gonna be a piece, 29A, that's gonna go and it's gonna hold the power pack in place. And you can see part 29A is right in there. Just like that. 
And we've got some little holes to punch. You see a little on off switch. All right, so let's flip the ship over. It'll be easier to put it on this way. You can see the on and off switch. All right, so that's how that's going to go. All right, so let's flip the ship back over. So we got this section done. So you can see part F, we're actually going to start running the lights through. And this one is going to go up through just like this. It's better to do one hole at a time too. I found that out with the Flying Dutchman. So just like that. And then we're going to pass it through the top of the bulkhead. There's a hole. Okay, so that's all the way to the bow. So the second one is going to go through the bottom and it's going to follow the bottom one. So let's take one aside and we're going to designate this to go through the bottom. there just like that so the wire is are in the bulkhead let's get this section out of the way put it through the top we went through all the bulkheads and then we put the bottom one through and what we did was we looped it back and it came back in around itself and we twirled it around so moving on to step G you can see we're going to take two of the bottom ones and we got to run it through the the top on the other side and we're going to do the same thing we're going to run it along the top bulkheads and then through the the bottom bulkheads so why don't we go ahead and we're going to pass it through we're going to pass it through that hole right there we're going to pass both of them because they're both going to be used All right, so we're gonna take one and we're gonna pass it up through the top over here. 
I'm going to run it. Okay, so we're going to take this one, and this one is going to go up, and we're going to run it along the bulkheads underneath. And then we're going to loop it back on itself. itself and we brought it all the way back. So that's, we've taken care of four lines already, so and we did that and now the second part of it, so we're going to put those aside. But you guys remember the ones we just did on the tops, what we got to do is we got to loop them back in on themselves as well twist it on itself so it doesn't get tangled up or come loose, just like that. All right, we're going to do the same thing for the uh, starboard side, and when we get to the end, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to twist it in on itself so it doesn't come undone, just like that. And that's this section that we just did. All right, moving on to part H. You can see we're going to put the ship aside for a minute and we're going to start working on the superstructure or what looks like the promenade deck. And here is part 36. Let's get these pieces out. So let's start with the staircase in the back. Actually, you know what we should do? We gotta punch all the holes out. All right, well, looks like we got all the little punches. All right. It's gonna go in the first one, just like this. And 105 is gonna cut across. Okay, what's next? We need 103, uh, 143, 118, and 96, and 184. Here's 96. Just like that. Okay, so we got 96. Let's fold it up. 
and that's going to go right here. All right, so let's do 118 next. And don't forget that we got to fold the perforations. And it looks like it's going to go just like here. Go in just like that. And we have part 143. We're gonna fold all of the perforations. Okay, so we got that section in. Looks like the, uh, the aft end. Okay, so you can see the, where the staircases are. That looks good. All right, so now we're ready to put on 91 and 92. So we got 192. going to go into that and right into this slot right there and we're going to do the same thing with the other side See how that's starting to take shape, but at the same time, the slots are going to fit in right there. So let's lock it into place. You can see the promenade deck starting to take shape. Beautiful. Well, it's the Titanic. There's no such thing as an ugly Titanic model. Okay, Just so like that. Nice. Look at that, guys. Okay, so what's next? It looks like we have. Yeah, it looks like a couple of anchors, 119 and 120, that go down. 119 and 120. And it looks like this is going to be the wall that cuts off the promenade deck. Although you can see the little Just door. Like that. You guys can see the little door. Okay, so it looks like we're ready now to put this on to the ship. <clears throat> Let's just make sure we got all of the parts on. Let's see, we did all that. We got that all set. And we're ready to move down to where we run the wires through from the ones we brought up. And it looks like we need part 181. So let's go ahead and find part 181. All right, where is that going to go? It's going to go on the ship itself. So let's take this, put this aside. Going to go just like that. So what we're going to do is, let's see, it looks like we're going to bring all the lights up through there. Okay, let's get the deck on. It's going to go in there. This part folds, so let's get this folded in, and we'll put this in just like that. There we are. Let me show you guys. Starting to take shape. Let's 
So, my friends, we got up to part H. And you can see we got the wires in and we got the, uh, the start of the promenade deck. So, in our next video, we're going to move on and we'll start to put the wires in place on top of the um, another deck. It looks like that could be the boat deck, but we'll see. So, my friends, I thank you for watching. And until the next video, I'll see you very soon.